Hello and welcome to this week's new releases and sneak peeks. This is going to be so much easier because I am not filming on my phone anymore. I have upgraded to a new one so my old phone is filming and I can have a look on this. Simple things excite me. So I got this pop socket from 5050 Makeup. I love it. Um, so let me move on over. Yep, yeah, that will do. And we will crack on in. I'm loving this. I haven't got to read anything that's been written down. I can just have a look at this. So I do have quite a few things here. Um, we'll first go to Madage Beauty because I do have a few things here. So firstly, they've released these Super Cleanse cleansing bars. Um, it looks like there are four there. Charcoal, Tea Tree, Turmeric and Vitamin E Sunflower Seed and they have already launched so there's one for every skin type and every treatment they've also released these two new hydrogels so there's the purifying tea tree gel and the soothing aloe vera gel yeah i do like the look of these what does it say here we love us some self-care here at madage beauty london but we know that sometimes you need a quick and easy on the go routine that still provides maximum hydration and maximum self-care. So these I believe are available now. So as of today, as you're watching this, Monday the 19th, um, this Memories of Tan collection, which is a collaboration between ZC Cosmetics and at Palace Identity, and these just look beautiful there's a peony blush compact which oh, it's so pretty these these would look amazing on your dressing tables gorgeous there's the golden reindeer loose setting powder and also the hippograph pressed matte setting powder these all just look so stunning absolutely beautiful um trouble is i wouldn't want to actually use it i wouldn't want to ruin the detail that's gone into them they are beautiful i really wanted to mention this collection just purely because it is so beautiful so next up we have sugar drizzle polish and they have released a new eyeshadow palette it is called the sugar drizzle and it features 12 buttery soft duochrome sugar inspired eyeshadows that sounds wonderful looking at these there's some absolutely gorgeous shades amongst that I don't have a price here I love the look of this this is absolutely beautiful obviously not a standalone palette but if you have a few fully matte palettes it would be a great option to add I haven't tried anything from sugar drizzle polish so if you have then please do let me know what the formula is like but yeah of course you know that it's the greens calling my name Oh, and that sugar babes. The, uh, I'm not sure if it's like yellowy orange. Beautiful. But yes, so that is the sugar drizzle palette. Um, what do we have next? So next up, we have a new cruelty free and vegan beauty brand based in the US, and they are YCH Cosmetics, I believe. Each Cosmetics. YCH. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but anyways, <laughs> they will soon be launching their Je ne sais quoi eyeshadow palette. And this looks beautiful. So this does look to be all shimmers as well. Um, just having a look at the swatches there. This looks beautiful. Okay, so just this coming soon. So the palette is French themed and is in the form of the Major Arcana Tower card in the tarot deck. It is filled with shimmers, metallics and duochromes. I don't have a price here, just that it's coming soon. Again, if you have an all matte palette or you have a palette that has your regular shimmers in and you want to add that bit more sparkle or a duochrome. Yeah, this looks really nice. So this is a brand new brand so let me know if you're going to be picking this up or if you know anything else about this brand so next up is a new release from butonomy official 
and this is the Julian the Phantoms inspired palette. It's designed and created by content creators and Carsey BBW17. Who I can find here. I haven't. I'm not sure who that is, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Palette contains eight shades, is a mix of four mattes and four shimmers. It retails for $24.99, that is in British pounds. And this is cute. This is cute. Yeah, this is very interesting. I love the <laughs> I love the outer packaging. The little ghosts. They are so cute. A little ghost band. I really like the look of this. I haven't tried anything at all from Butonomy Official, so if you have, please let me know what the formula is like, because this is really interesting. Especially that stand tool shade. That one intrigues me. So yeah, let me know if that is something that you will be picking up. And let's move on. So Nabla are launching their Skin Realist. It is a beautifying tinted balm. Looks very interesting. And this will be launching on the 21st of April at 1pm CEST on nablacosmetics.com. So just over on their own websites. So there is a video on their Instagram and it is an in-depth overview of the Skin Realist. So, hmm. So yeah, if you're interested, then head on over to Nabla's Instagram and uh, watch the video. I've got their close-up foundation, which I really enjoy, um, but a tinted balm. Um, see, maybe for the summer for me. The trouble is I have bad skin. I have acne prone, not so great skin. And there's just, I need that extra coverage that kind of tinted bums etc they just don't give that coverage that I need yeah I think it is a great new product to release especially coming up to the summer so for those who like that lighter tint finish then uh, this is going to be great this is going to be great and like I said I love their close-up foundation so we have a new products launch from the Pastel Roses and they have launched false eyelashes, multi-chrome opal multi-chrome pressed shadows, multi-chrome loose pigments and more. Oh, these look really pretty. These look really pretty. I am loving the look of them. So I have quite a few eyeshadows from Pastel Roses and I love them. Their pressed shadows are super special, super special. Some of my favourites within my collection. Um, but yeah, these new releases look beautiful. They look really beautiful. So I believe they're going to have to go on my wish list, I think. Um, but you can get 15% off at the checkout by using the code 15 pastel rose in the list of brands mentioned I will pop the code next to the pastel roses website I'll get there <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me my words won't come out right but anyways so next up, we have a sneak peek of something that's going to be coming soon from VE Cosmetics. Just looking at the packaging, I want it. <laughs> that is so beautiful. Look at that. So it's called Blood Moon. So I am so intrigued to see what this is. It doesn't have on here a date of when it's going to be launching. But... Uh, it just says coming soon. I'm intrigued and I am definitely keeping my eye out to find out what this is because just by packaging I want it. I want it. So yeah as soon as I have any more information on that, what it is etc I will let you know. So the next new release I have here which will launch on the 28th of April over at loiscosmetics.com this is the Meet Me in the Underworld eyeshadow palette. 
just wow I already knew I was going to get it but just looking at the artwork the colors everything about it just screams Steph beautiful so let's see what it says here Meet Me in the Underworld eyeshadow palette, artwork and colour story inspired by the classic tale of Orpheus and Eurydice. 16 shades of mythical magic in matte, metallic and foil, cruelty free and vegan. It will be launching on the 28th of April for 28 99 that's British pounds. 100% I'm getting this. Wow. And I love the names we have here. So we've got Myth, Liar, Melody, Hades, Muses, Footsteps, Woodland, Forest, Poetry, Snakebite, Eurydice, Tragic Love, Nymph, Enchanted, Orpheus and Underworld. There's some cool names there. Wow. Yeah, let me know if you're going to be picking this up too. It is so beautiful. So beautiful. So as soon as I have this in my hands, I will be creating a video. So you will see that as soon as possible, as soon as I receive the palette. But yeah, absolutely amazing release. Perfect, Lois, perfect. And then moving on, Terra Moons Cosmetics has released four new pressed shades. They have got... Dark Side, Carbon, Multiverse and Starburst and it says they have four more shades to show off and then they will list details for everything. These look very pretty. Yeah, out of these four shades, Multiverse and Starburst, just, they look so stunning. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the swatches of these just to see what they look like. Um, but they've released already, so, so yeah, if you're picking these up, let me know. So next up, we have a new collection from a brand, I'm pretty sure I'm going to butcher this, but I'm going to give it a go anyway, from Las Granudas Co. And this is their Lucy Love Complete Limited Collection, it includes three unique wispy style lashes, Lucille, Vivian and Hollywood. And the Lucy Love Limited Collection eyeshadow palette, which contains 12 high pigmented shades, which is a mix of matte and shimmers. And this retails for $29.99, that's US dollars. See, I love the artwork on the packaging. I think it's absolutely stunning. The palette itself is not going to be one for me, just purely because there's too many neutrals. But I think for, for those of you that like your neutrals with a, a pop of colour, it looks beautiful. Yeah, the artwork, the artwork looks stunning, absolutely stunning. And the lashes in the bottom left of this picture, they look interesting. So the lashes retail for $12 for the Lucille and the Hollywood and $11 for Vivian. I believe Vivian are the ones on the very right, the uh, the smaller, more natural looking lashes. So yeah, let me know if you're gonna be picking this up, but it's a cute little collection. So moving on, we have Gatita Gang. Just see how, Gatita Gang. Again, I don't know if I'm saying that right, so I'm so sorry if I am butchering that. So Gatita Gang is launching a new eyeshadow palette. Don't have a name here. The palette contains 15 pans, which is a mix of mattes, shimmers and pressed glitters, um, which as you all know about me, I love pressed glitters, so that doesn't bother me. But if you're not a fan of pressed glitters, then this may not be one for you. Yeah, I don't have a launch date or anything like that here just that it's coming soon so as soon as i find out anything else on this i will let you know so next up we have toffee cosmetics which is another brand that i haven't heard of and they have released their spring symphony bundle this bundle includes six pigments inspired by a beautiful spring dream it says bundle up and save 
The shades included are Grapevine, Lemon Lush, Jinx, Cotton Candy, Don't Be Jelly and Enchanted. Um, for the whole bundle is 36 US dollars and they retail for seven dollars each if you want to buy them separately these look really cute it looks like they're all sparkly but these look really nice so yeah, this is the first i've heard of toffee cosmetics so if you know anything about the brand or have tried any of their products let me know what you think because this is cute and i'm definitely going to be keeping my eye on this brand so next up we have a new release from Lally Lashes. It's the Smile Now Cry Later eyeshadow palette. It includes seven beautiful shades and they are full matte, two shimmer and one pressed glitter. It retails for 25 US dollars and is available now. So yeah, if you've heard of this brand or tried anything from them, let me know what you think. So next up is Yvette Beauty and they have launched their new eyeliner palette and it is the Icing on the Cake liner palette. It's nine pans, pastel water activated liners. It says perfect for graphic liner looks. It's cruelty free, retails for $16. Yeah, this looks cute. You all know how much I love my water activated liners. Yeah, these colours are perfect for spring, summertime. Beautiful. $16, I think, is a, a pretty good price, actually. So, yes, let me know if you're going to be picking that up. So, um, another sneak peek. This is from Flawless Cosmetics. And they're giving us a little sneak peek into something exciting. It says, filling these up with magical colours. So yeah, I'm guessing these are going to be eyeshadow pigments, but as soon as I have any more information, I will let you know. Okay, so last up, we have a picture of the outer packaging of the new collab between Menagerie Cosmetics and Annette's Makeup Corner. I am so, so excited for this one. Annette is fantastic and she so, so deserves this. Just so happy for her um but yes this is launching on may the 1st at 10 a.m pst and this is called the serenity palette so i am so excited for this i cannot wait to see what the inside of this palette looks like so excited so yes that is all i have for this week if there's anything that you see throughout the week that you would like to see in next week's new releases and sneak peeks then please do tag me so that i don't miss it so yeah that is it for today so if you've liked this video please give it a like thumbs up it really helps me out if you're new around here then i hope you'll consider sticking around i do a lot of colorful looks and i am a huge supporter of indie brands so if that sounds like something that you can vibe with please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time i upload so thank you so much for joining me today i hope you're all having a great day great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves i will see you again very very soon goodbye